Well, this is a 1970 Land Rover Series 2A, and I bought this one at an auction as well, probably about four years ago. And we did some uh, restoring, uh, painted the body, fixed some bad spots here and there. And this one was very unreliable. And I know that most Land Rover owners would, that would be a surprise to them, but it's left me stranded a few times. Uh, it seemed like it was always really difficult for this uh, engine to keep running consistently. So we took that out and installed a, which you can actually see with that camera, I think, installed a uh, electric motor. Yeah. Which motor do you have in here? That's a Hyper 9, so it's about 145 volts. And it, uh, we retain the transmission but I just leave it in third gear all the time. You just use it like drive, yeah. basically? Yeah, yeah. This one has four battery uh, enclosures, one in the back, one in the center, and then one under each seat. And so since you have the original transmission, this is all the four-wheel drive system oh, yeah. is stock then, right? Yep, yep, all as it used to be. And it works well, you can shift it in the four-wheel drive inside. You do need to lock the hubs in the front. Yeah, isn't it? I really like it. And it's actually really handy, useful. I mean, like I said, I drive it to work and you know, I drive it to, I, I had to vacuum a lot of mulch out of here yesterday before the show, because it was pretty dirty. What's your favorite thing about this truck? Uh, I, my favorite thing? Um, well, it runs every time. Every time you need it. Every time you need to drive, you just get in and you go. It's got a great feel to it. Uh, the height, the, the position, the driver, it's just very comfortable. It's, it's, it's a lovable vehicle. I mean, that boxy really gives you a lot of great headroom. Yeah, yeah, it does. All the space in here. It's um, it's not really great for aerodynamics, but that's all right. So, uh, you can see on the dash there's a ignition. You just turn it on, and then there's a switch right above it for forward reverse. So, like I said, I leave it in third gear, and then uh, occasionally, if I'm starting on a hill or something like that, I might drop it in a second. If I get on the highway, if I'm over 50 miles an hour, I'll put it in fourth. How long did it take to convert this? Uh, probably about a year as well. And that's as, as your, your hobby? Yeah. You work every day? Nights, nights and, nights and weekends, weekends, weekends. Yeah. And I, you know, it, these never had a stereo in them. And I wanted to, right, right. I wanted to kind of preserve the look of the dash. Uh, not not put a stereo in there, something cheesy. So we put it in the back of the seat here. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then there's some speakers uh, Probably mounted up. Probably cup holders right there. Either. No, that's a 3D printed uh, cup holder too. Nice. Right, there's never cup holders in that thing. If somebody wants to know more about these vehicles, uh, check out the website. It's hoffmanmc.com, H-O-F-F-M-A-N-M-C. Com. We love electric vehicle conversions and hope that you do too. Please like, comment, subscribe, come say hello to us at 300mpg.org or support us on Patreon. And of course, make sure to read the complete video description for links and more. Until next time, stay charged up.